All right, next thing we're going to review is fraction addition and subtraction with simple fractions. This is a fifth grade, fourth grade skill. So just going to do a quick review. Whenever we're adding fractions or subtracting, we want to look at the denominators. And uh, with simple fractions, we want to get a common denominator. So one of the skills we learned this year was least common multiple. And you always want to get the least common multiples. So remember, one way to get the common multiples is to list them for a of 6, 12, 16. These are some multiples of 4, and then multiples of 5. And the first common multiple is the denominator that you want to use. So you can use lists. You could use mental math. And I also think you might want to use ladders sometimes. But mostly, mental math is great if you can just see the least common multiple. So when I look at these um, numbers here, I'm going to keep that ratio table idea and change both of these to common denominator of 20. So I have to multiply this by 5, and I have to multiply this by 4. So that's one way to show my work. So right below that problem, I can say 1 times 5 is 5. So in other words, and 4 times 5 is 20. So in other words, 1 fourth is the same as 5 twentieths bring down the addition sign. And similarly, 5 times 4 is 20. So you could also do it in here. 3 times 4 is 12. So you're going to add 12 twentieths to 5 twentieths. And so all together, we get 17 twentieths. So let's look at a second example. The second example is a little bit different. space here because 4 goes into 8. So we're going to make our common multiple just 8. So I know that it would be really easy for me just to double these. And I could change 2 fourths to 4 8 because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to rewrite the problem so it's easier to read. 4 eighths take away 3 eighths is 1 eighth. Let's bring the third example over here. On this one, a lot of you can see that the common denominator is 24, but a lot of people can't see that. So this is where using the ladder is handy. You take the numbers 6 and 8, you take out a common factor of 2, you're left with 3 and 4, and the only common factor now is 1. That's how you know you're at the end of the ladder. We haven't done this in a while, so it's a good review. Remember that if you multiply the bottom of the ladder times the top of the opposite side, you get the least common multiple. And it works both ways. 6 times 4 is also 24. What I like about the ladder is you know that you have to multiply each of these numbers 6 and 8, and the diagonal tells you what to multiply by. So 6 times 4, 5 times 4. And for the 8, we're going to multiply by 3. 3 times 8. I'm sorry. 3 times 3 will make 24. I mean, 8 times 3 
and three times three. So three times three makes nine, and eight times three makes 24. So five times four makes 20, and six times four makes 24. So rewriting this, 20, 24 plus nine, 24 That gives me 29, 24. But, like we practiced with the last book all the time, that's one whole, 24 goes into 29 one time, and there's five left over, one whole and five 24 We're gonna do one more example here. Practice with the ladder. I need a common denominator for six and nine, so I'm going to put six and nine in my ladder. Take out a common factor of three. Three divide, divides into six twice. Three divides into nine three times. The only common factor that two and three have is one, so I'm at the bottom of the ladder. So 18 is my common denominator. To get 18, I have to multiply nine by two and two by two. So I get four 18s here. Over here, I have to multiply six by three and five by three. And I get 15 18s there. So I rewrite the problem so it's readable. 15 18s take away four 18s gives me 11 18s.